Hello, virtual kindergartners. I'm talking to Remy and Tally and Blaze. I didn't get to see you guys in library today because Mrs. Jones' iPad crashed. We all know about technical problems, story of our lives these days, but I wanted to record myself reading the book that I read to your classmates today so that you don't miss out on it. It's a really good book and I hope you guys like it a lot. The name of the book is Nuffle Bunny Free and it is written and illustrated by Mo Willems. One day, not so long ago, Trixie took a big trip with her family. They were on their way to visit Trixie's Oma and Opa in Holland. Who do you think Oma and Opa are? It's her grandparents in Holland. Holland is very far away. So that meant taking a taxi to the airport waiting in line, watching Nuffle Bunny go through the big machine, waiting some more, and finally getting onto a real airplane. There she is, she looks so excited. I would be too if I were getting on an airplane. It's so exciting. And she's got her little Nuffle Bunny right there at her side. On the plane, Trixie played and read and slept. Before she knew it, the plane had landed. Trixie and her family left the airport and got on a train to go to Oma and Opa's house. Look how excited she is to see them and how excited they are to see her. And they have a sign that says, Welcome, Trixie. Oma and Opa were so happy to see Trixie. Soon, Oma and Trixie were drinking cold glasses of chocolate milk in the garden. Suddenly, Trixie realized something. Uh-oh. That's not a very good face. She looks a little bit like that. <laughs> I don't think that she realized something good. I think probably she realized something bad. What do you think it is? Oh, Trixie didn't tell her daddy that Nuffle Bunny was gone. So that's what it is. Nuffle Bunny is gone. She didn't have to. So what does that mean? She didn't have to tell her papa that Nuffle Bunny was gone. He can see it all over her face. Look how upset she is. Oh my goodness. It's like she's in shock. Trixie's daddy called the airline and asked them to look for Nuffle Bunny on the plane. But the plane had left for China. China is very far away. Oh, poor Trixie. Poor Trixie. Nuffle Bunny is all the way in China. Trixie's mommy hugged her and asked her to be brave. Trixie's daddy told the story of when he was a little boy and said goodbye to his special Lambie. Oma gave Trixie another glass of chocolate milk and remarked on how big she was getting. Trixie understood. She was getting bigger. Even if she wished she wasn't. Oh, poor Trixie. Her face looks the same. She's still in shock over losing Nuffle Bunny. I would be too. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys have a special stuffed animal that you love and take everywhere? It would be hard to be apart from it, wouldn't it? To know that you left it on a plane and the plane went all the way to China? 
Poor Trixie. The next morning, Trixie tried to enjoy going to the cafe and the swings in the playground and the carnival that was in town. It looks like fun, but Trixie's face doesn't look like she's having so much fun. And while the whole week was filled with fun things, like eating french fries on the street and visiting real windmills and feeding the ducks, Trixie was still sad. She missed her Nuffle Bunny. Oma and Opa understood. Oma and Opa had a plan. Hmm. I wonder what their plan is. That night, they had a surprise for Trixie. A brand new, top of the line, funny bunny bunny doll extreme. It could walk, it could speak, in Dutch, ik kan sprekken, it says. It could dance, ik kan dansen. It's a Dutch bunny, it speaks Dutch. Makes sense, right? But it could do all of these things, but it couldn't make Trixie feel any better. It's a cool doll, but it's not her Nuffle Bunny. I'm sure you guys can understand. Trixie was sure she wouldn't be able to sleep another night in a strange bed without her Nuffle Bunny. But before she knew it, she was dreaming. She dreamed of Nuffle Bunny and all the places he would visit. She dreamed of all the children Nuffle Bunny would meet. She dreamed of how Nuffle Bunny would make them feel better. That's awesome. Look, Nuffle Bunny is going all around the world meeting all these kids and making them all feel better. The next morning, Trixie felt better. Look at that smile. Trixie had a big breakfast. She played with Oma on the playground swings she even tried a sip of Opa's coffee at the cafe. You think she liked it? I don't think so. It was a great day. Before she knew it, the trip was over and it was time to go home. Trixie hugged Oma and Opa as hard as she could. Then Trixie and her family got back onto the train and back onto the plane. And listened to the crying baby as the plane lifted off. Oh, look, right behind them, there's a little baby. He's so upset. He goes, wah, wah, poor baby. Even though planes are awesome. Sometimes little babies get scared. And this poor little baby is having a really hard time. But can you believe it? Right there, on that very plane, Trixie noticed something. Look, it's in the back pocket of the seat in front of her. What is that poking out? Nuffle Bunny! Oh my gosh! Can you believe it? Nuffle Bunny was on that plane. Trixie was so happy to have Nuffle Bunny back in her arms. Oh my gosh. Imagine the odds. It must be the same plane that they took when they were on their way to Holland. And now they're on their way home and Nuffle Bunny was still on the plane. How lucky. Trixie was so happy. 
happy enough to make a decision. Trixie turned around and said, would your baby like my Nuffle Bunny? Wow. What did she just do? She just turned around to the baby who was crying and offered to give the baby her Nuffle Bunny. That is so nice. Really? Asked the baby's mother. Really? Asked Trixie's daddy. Really? Asked Trixie's mama. Blaggy, blaggy! Asked the baby. Really? Said Trixie. She was big enough. The baby was happy. The baby's mother was thankful. Trixie's parents were proud and the other passengers were very relieved. Trixie really saved the day. That was so incredibly nice of her. I can imagine that her parents are really, really proud. And that is how, a few weeks later, Trixie received her very first letter the end. And look, the letter has a picture of that little baby with Nuffle Bunny. It says, Dear Trixie, how are you? We are doing well. And then it goes on to tell of all the adventures that that little baby is having with Nuffle Bunny. Wow. But wait, there's more. There's a little note to Trixie at the end of this. It says, Trixie, I hope to watch you grow up, fall in love, start a family and be happy. And I hope that one day, many years from now, you will receive a package. Look, Trixie's all grown up and has a baby of her own. And the package is coming in the mail. From an old pen pal. Wow. That is such an amazing thing. Look, Trixie's all grown up. And the baby who she gave Nuffle Bunny to, that baby must be all grown up now too. And remember, they kept in touch. They were pen pals, which means they wrote letters to each other and sent pictures to each other. And now that they're all grown up, look what that, that baby did. That grown up baby packaged up Nuffle Bunny and sent it to Trixie so she can give it to her own baby. I love that. That makes my heart so happy. Do you guys think that Trixie was brave to give up Nuffle Bunny? Can you imagine giving your favorite stuffed animal away to a baby who was crying because you know that you knew that you could make that baby feel better and you felt that you were old enough to do it, big enough, strong enough? to be without that stuffed animal, that, but that little baby needed it. It's okay if you're not there yet. It's okay. But you're growing and you're gonna get there. And what I would like you to do for your activity after hearing this book is I want you to think really hard. Now that you're in kindergarten, you guys are getting so big. I want you to talk about all the ways that you feel like a big kid now, because you are, you're in kindergarten. That's a big deal. So draw a picture and talk to whoever you're watching this with about how you feel like a big kid now. And you're gonna keep getting bigger and bigger and braver. And you just have to be kind to those that are smaller than you and help them be brave like you are, right? Okay. And let me know here in Google Classroom what you decided to talk about. I can't wait to hear all about it. Bye, guys.